Hello, I'm Ruth Granger. I'm from the Public Health Team in Sheffield City Council and I'm going to be talking today about what we know about this virus. I think the first thing I want to say is that we do know that it is a virus. Doctors and scientists and researchers across the world have been uh, finding out more about this virus and it's clear that it's a respiratory virus similar to some other viruses that you might be more aware of like norovirus which causes diarrhea and vomiting and flu. And this virus is in the coronavirus family and it's called COVID-19. And one of the things that we know about it is it's a respiratory virus, so it's transmitted, it's passed up, uh, over to other people by people coughing out the virus and it, it either being directly transmitted to people who breathe in those respiratory droplets or it landing on a surface and people touching that surface and then touching their nose or their mouth and it getting into people's bodies that way. And that's why we've been talking a lot about the importance of hand washing to get that virus off your hands and the importance of cleaning surfaces. Now, one of the things I want to talk about was testing for this virus. And we've got two different types of test. The first test is, have I got this virus now? And that's a pretty good test that we've got, but no test is 100% perfect which means that we will always have some cases of people who test positive for the virus but don't actually have it, and worse, people who test negative for the virus and do have it. So it's really important to remember that if you have symptoms, you should still be self-isolating at home for seven days, and if someone in your household has it, you should be self-isolating for 14 days because those test results are not perfect. The second type of test we have is an antibody test. That's have I ever had this virus? And one of the things that we uh, don't know about this virus is quite a lot of things about antibodies. So how long after you've had it, will it show in a test that you've had it? If you've had the disease before, how long will your immunity against it last? Can you get it again? Can you pass it on again? So if um, you're seeing that people are offering antibody tests, we'd really want to caution you because we don't have good evidence that they um, are working effectively yet. One of the things that we do know that is working really well is social distancing because that reduces the opportunities for the virus to spread between different people. And we want to say thank you to everybody who has been staying at home, protecting those they love by not going to see them and by social distancing. It's really tough now. We've been at this for quite a few weeks, but it really is working. So thank you very much for keeping going with that.